what are you looking at? I'm just trying to decide between getting a pre-assembled or a kit. But you know, this would be a lot easier if somebody had done a YouTube video explaining the pros and cons. Welcome back everybody, I'm George and this is George's Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. It's been snowing out here, so it's been a little chilly. I hope everywhere else it's warm. But today we're going to be talking about pre-assembled printers and kits. With all the printers out there today, you have your DLP, you have your SLA, you have your SLS, you have your FDM, and then within FDM you have your Cartesian, you have your Deltas, and you have your Core XYs. And after you've decided which printer and which type of printer that you want to get, then you have to pick between a pre-assembled or a kit. We're going to be discussing the differences between pre-assembled and kits, and hopefully helping you decide which one you might want to get. I think that it comes down to three different things. It comes down to budget, what you actually want to do with your prints, and then also what you want to get out of your printer. Let's talk about budget first. Budget is probably the simplest one. Basically, if you're going to be getting a kit, you're going to get it at a discount because the company is not actually assembling it for you. Saving money buying a kit can be good because you can purchase new mods like a E3D hot end, or you could buy more filament. You could buy a 3D modeling software that you want to use to be able to design things yourself. The downside is, is you're going to have to figure out the calibration and testing for yourself. Let's say a part goes wrong. You wouldn't have that in a pre-assembled printer more, more than likely. But if it does, when you're assembling it, you're going to have to figure out yourself where that is and what that is. So budget, you're going to save money, but there's going to be more on you to figure out with the printer. The second thing I want to talk about is what you actually want to use the prints for. If you're printing stuff out and you're going to use your printer to actually make functional prints like parts, then maybe going with a pre-assembled printer from a reputable company like Ultimaker or MakerBot would be something that would benefit you because you don't have to worry about setting up the printer. You don't have to worry about figuring out how it works. You can just basically get it and go, right? So if your company depends on rapid prototyping or you need uh, high tolerance parts, then you need a, a, a pre-assembled printer so you don't have to worry about the printer setup. Lastly, I wanna talk about what you actually want to get out of your printer. For me, there's a couple different reasons that I buy things. First off, I'm buying because I wanna learn. I see a new tech and I get excited and I wanna exploit it for everything that it's worth. But I just get excited with, with new tech and I see something cool and I wanna buy it so I can learn it and just be a part of the community that's involved with it, right? Second thing is I, I, I buy stuff sometimes and I'm kind of confessing this to the internet, but to show off in front of people. I like to be able to say like, hey, you know what? I own a 3D printer and uh, everyone thinks that's pretty cool. Of course, in the future when they become more common, it won't be as cool, but at least I'll be a founding father of it. I'm, I'm going to cut that out. Loser! One more thing I just want to mention is kind of a warning. I know I do this myself is if I get something that seems really cool and then I face difficulty, I give up. And it's happened to me time and time again where I get excited about something and then I start learning it, I get involved, and as soon as I hit the first roadblock, I end up packing it up and putting it away and never looking at it again. So, if you want to get a kit because you're thinking like, oh yeah, you know, I wanna assemble a 3D printer, I wanna be a part of that community, great, go for it but it's gonna be difficult and there might be issues along the way and you're gonna to have to figure them out. Just don't give up. That's, that's what I wanna to try to say is just don't give up. All right, this is a super quick video. I just wanted to get something out to wish you guys a happy new year, but to wrap it up, pre-assembled printers come pre-tested and pre-calibrated. They also have customer support and it's relatively stress-free, but the cons of that is they're going to be more expensive and sometimes they're proprietary. So if you get Certain printers, sometimes you can only buy that company's filament or that company's hot ends. And so that's something that you have to keep in mind. With kits, they're usually cheaper. They're open source, so you can mod them easier. And then that money that you have, you can use to buy other things like more filament or the software like I talked about. With the kit, you're gonna have a better understanding of the machine and how it works. So if something goes wrong with it, and I promise you, something's gonna go wrong with it. You'll be able to fix it on your own or at least have a better understanding of what the problem might be. The cons of a kit though, is it's gonna take time to assemble. And if your time is more valuable than the knowledge that you're gonna get from assembling the printer, then go with the pre-assembled. The last con for kits would be that it's self-testing and self-calibration. 
and you're gonna have to figure out a lot of Googling. <laughs> you're gonna have to figure that out yourself and it's gonna include a lot of Googling to be able to figure out what those issues are. But the answer's out there, I promise you. Nobody has encountered an issue that's unique to their printer. So that's it, it's a really quick video. I hope this just helps you, you know, if you're trying to decide between a pre-assembled and a kit, what road you might be able to go down. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. I'm hoping to get out another video. I've been working on some projects, so stay tuned. Thanks.